Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Yale and Michelle, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I get this super cute curly U part look. So, starting off, I did do three French braids on each side of my hair, and this is basically to have it braided up and protected. And then for my leave out, I did put it in a U part shape since this is a U part wig. And I'm just showing you guys how my parting looks. It's a little crazy, but it gets the job done. And this is what my braids are looking like. So I'm taking those braids and I'm just going to put a scrunchie on them and put it in a low bun just to have it tucked away and no loose hair. And this hair is from Nia Wigs. And the packaging is so, so cute. I was in love with it. And they also included a satin bag to keep your hair nice and protected. And it comes with a tangle teaser for easy detangling. So this U-part wig is in 18 inches. The size cap for it is a medium. And the color is a natural 1B. So it does have these little straps in the front where the U-part um, leave out section is. And all you have to do is cut that out. And then it has these comb attachments, which is going to help link onto my braids and this is what the texture looks like straight out of the box it's really really defined so i'm taking my scissors and i'm going to go ahead and cut those little strings out and this is what it looks like with the opening so i'm going to go ahead and place that on top of my hair i'm just latching the combs onto my braids and this application process is so easy like it just takes a few seconds and you have it on your hair and this um, unit does not include clips so to make it more secure you can use bobby pins and you will see me do that in this video just so that my hair feels a little bit more secure but fresh out the package I wasn't feeling how this looked so I did go ahead and co-wash the hair I took it off and co-washed it and this is what it looks like freshly co-washed it looks nice and moisturized and there's little to no shedding and the hair just feels like amazing quality it's also really thick so I'm just going ahead and taking those bobby pins and applying it to each side of my hair so that it feels even more secure and then I'm just going to be taking my leave out section and I'm going to do a middle part on my hair. And then just to get it to blend and everything, I am going to spray the section, brush it out some, and then I'm going to tuck it behind my ear. I kind of like that sleek front part look, but this is with no product. So if you don't want to use any product, then you can do this option. I'm going to show you guys another option later on where I will apply some gel. So I'm taking my super curl from Uncle Funky's daughter and I'm just using that to define my curls. You can pretty much use any curl definer of your choice, but I am just using this one to help get my curls a little bit more defined and any sections of my real hair that I see is a little bit more frizzier. I will take it and just focus the product on there a little bit more and smooth it. And you can take some sections from your U-part wig and twist it with your real hair just to help it blend even more. So now I'm taking my Alake Naturals Lemongrass Edge Gel and I'm going to apply that onto that leave out section and just smooth it in. And it does give it that more sleek look on your hair. So for those sections, I am just using bobby pins to secure it in case you guys are wondering. So I'm just applying that Slay and Lay Edge Gel and applying my bobby pins and tucking it right behind my ear to give it that look. And then I'm taking my little baby toothbrush and slicking my hair and just getting any little flyaways that I may see on my hair together. Now, as you can see, I just apply some more product and water and you just blend your hair. So this is what it's looking like so far. Okay, so I'm going ahead and doing the same as well to the other side. I'm just applying some of that gel and I'm going to brush it out and tuck it up behind my ear and secure it with a bobby pin. But yeah, guys, this hair quality is really good. Like I'm amazed, like the price point is amazing. You're getting such good quality hair for a low price. And I did go ahead and apply some more of that gel to the top of my head like you guys saw, just so everything's blending and looking good. And I'm going ahead and doing my baby hairs. And you guys all know baby hairs are optional. You don't have to if you don't want to. But that's the kind of look I like. And I'm just going ahead and spraying a little bit more water just to help with definition. And this is what it's looking like 
so far but we are not done but this is what it's looking like so far it looks good this hair has movement you guys like you can feel the weight of this hair it's really good quality it's not thin sparse hair like it's really thick and the hair feels super natural so i'm just going in and defining any more pieces that may need some definition and I also pulled out my Wetline Extreme Gel because my hair for some reason at the top will not lay flat and it was getting super frizzy. So I just took the Wetline and kind of did like the shingling method just so that my hair could blend a little bit better. And after I shingled certain pieces, I did twist it with the U-Part wig hair to make it blend even better. So if you do that little twisting method, it helps so much to blend this hair. But if you just leave it out, your hair will kind of look frizzy and not blend as much. So make sure you do the twisting method. And I'm just going ahead and wrapping my hair with a satin scarf. And just for a little extra definition, I am taking my Natural All Club flaxseed gel and raking that throughout these curls. But you don't have to. It just depends on you. Like you can get a soft definition look or you can get even more definition. It just depends on the kind of look you want. But I am taking that and raking it through my hair just for a little more definition and shine and spraying the hair. And this hair still feels nice and soft and defined after using that product. This hair can get really good definition and it just looks overall amazing. So after wrapping my hair for about 20 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and take it off. And this is basically the first look with this hair. This is more of the sleek, defined look and it's really, really cute and I like it. But I did decide later on I wanted a little bit more of bigger hair. And I will show you guys how I achieved that. But this is for the girls that want more of that sleek, more definition type look with their hair. Then this is what the first look looks like. And I think it's really, really cute. Like this hair does get bigger over time. Just like our natural hair does. But this hair is super cute. So this is what it's looking like. And of course I will have the discount in the description like I said I think I mentioned it but I will have a discount on this hair everything will be linked in the description and it just looks so good you guys so I did take that tangle teaser and I ran it through the hair to just get it more frizzier I feel like this made it look so much natural like look at the comparison the volume that it gets it makes it look super natural so I'm lightly doing this this is sped up but I did it lightly and it gave me the perfect amount of frizz but definition but it still looked natural and i really really love how it looks like this it's so cute you guys i'm obsessed with this U part unit this is really good for protective styles when you want to leave your hair alone but you still want your curls this is such a good go-to look and i feel like i'm going to be wearing this a lot especially because it's a little bit longer than my natural hair and thicker so i do get a different look but overall, this hair is super cute. Make sure you check out Neo Wigs. Everything will be in the description box below. And like I said, I will have a discount code. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.